gets the Combinator. Once again, happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there at NWA, Mountain State Wrestling, and in West Virginia. I just want to thank everybody for tuning in and watching NWA, Mountain State Wrestling. Now, Billy Lip, like I was telling the fans out here right now, we got the lightweight division. Diablo Jr., former tag team champion. Yeah, he was tagging up with Johnny Glass and managed to capture the NWA Mountain State Tag Team Gold. He's a multiple time champion in this uh, in uh, Mountain State Wrestling. Yes, yes. And I've actually got to sit down with TJ Phillips and actually got a, got a, a couple of uh, side notes. Uh, TJ Phillips used to actually wrestle for Mountain State even before the era of Billy Lit. He has 11 years of experience. Really? He has 11 years of experience. TJ Phillips really impressed me last week with his victory over the Night Prowler. And uh, now we get to see uh, some of these lightweights in action right now, guys. This is going to be excitement personified, baby. This is what it's about. It's the dance excitement. You can feel the electricity in the air. Thank you, fans, for tuning in. Yes, the NWA yes. Mountain State. Now, we really do appreciate your support here. Diablo Jr., the main man, number one uno, with TJ Phillips, with Little Mocha. <laughs> Looks like Little Mocha got some support here. You know, he is a lightweight. Light. He is the epitome of lightweight. But Leonard Sims and Larry Light was in contract negotiations with him. And I tell you what, to bring this kid in is a true pleasure to have someone from the Orient that was trained in the great ways of the ninja. The ninja? The, 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 the samurai. The samurai. Awesome. I can't I believe mean, it. I mean, there's so much stuff that this kid has picked up. Man, this match is scheduled short for time, one fall with a 10-minute so time and, limit. First, I mean, this weighing 193 and three quarters pounds from Fairmont, West Virginia, T.J. Phillips! And the opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, weighing 190 pounds, Diablo Jr. Once again, we see Mountain State uh, from the to, land uh, of the rising sun, uh, weighing 135 uh, uh, pounds. In Mountain Little State. We've got Muda. One we got one Oriental, and then we got T.J. Phillips. Yes. Mike yes. Which, by the way, Jacques Bollier, he used to tag with Jason Kincaid in the early years of his career. Wow. Well, to the fans that didn't know that, they know it now. All right, T.J. Phillips. The victory last week on NWA Mount St. Wrestling versus the Prowler, defeated the Prowler. Here we go, three men going at it right now. The lightweights getting ready. What's this, TJ Phillips? Wow. Oh. Down to the mat he goes. You see, the beautiful thing about lightweights is these guys go at it, man. One after another, straight beat down, straight attack. Straight, hardcore, vicious, superb. I'm telling you, high flies. You guys tune into the right channel. Watching NWA, Mount St. Vincent. If y'all are just tuning in, we have the lightweight division right here, right now. TJ Phillips, Diablo Jr., and Little Mocha. Absolutely. And I tell you what, Little Mocha getting, getting the short end of the stick early on. TJ Phillips now to be in control. Now, the thing though is, in this type of match, a triple threat match, it's hard to attack just one guy because you got to have eyes in the back of your head. Yes, it's every man for himself. Mood is finally mounting an offense. I don't think he came to play right there at the beginning, but now he just realized after taking a back elbow himself that this is real. This is legitimate, guys. Oh, yeah. this ain't no devastated. joke. Look at that, little motor. Mood is going to have to pick it up if he plans to survive this triple threat match here. This great triple threat match we have in store for you guys. On oh, TJ Phillips has him up, Ben. Stalls it right there. The blood's rushing to Damn. the ground. Oh. oh, my God. He, he, he pretty much done a brain buster. <laughs> that don't tickle at NWA, Mountain State Wrestling, man. So this this Muda might, might have one of the shortest careers here in Mountain State after that. Wow, TJ Phillips. Oh, no. Oh, no. Him out right. no another one. Wow. TJ Phillips is trying to take out the, well, he's trying to get it done, obviously. No, he's not. Get out. TJ 
Phillips going up. What's TJ Phillips got planned out here? What he's got in store here? What is that TJ Phillips doing? Oh my God! Oh, high flying cross body off the. Did you see the height on that Jacques Mullier? I told you, man, the high flying. Oh man, TJ Phillips trying to make a day for himself right here at NWA Mount Saint Lucie. Who's got the worst of that, Jimmy Styles? Well, I think right now it's got to be Mini Muda. And here comes TJ Phillips up and over the top rope. My heart is pounding. My heart is rock bad. I'm so excited right now. Little Motor is getting his little motor rear end whipped. TJ Phillips taking advantage. But what's this? Diablo Jr. coming back. Diablo Jr. now showing some offense with a head, big head back to TJ Phillips. Now that's making with your dipstick, Jimmy. Oh, and I tell you what, Dilo Muda just coming in, otherwise it would have been a victory oh, right there. How was he able to even stand after that, uh, that, that big dive from TJ Phillips? I don't know, that's real stuff and right there. And you were there. talking about your heart, you know, being real fast. I'll tell you what, that's just something in the air. That is the okay, electricity look. that not only you or I or the fans here, Super the Super coming up! What's going on? It looked like Diablo was setting up for a Wait super a play. Super What's going on here? What? what? No! Oh, 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 what's amazing right here. Only right here, right now at NWA, Mountain State Wrestling. Cucumber Company, we need to see a replay on that. Absolutely. Highlight of the year already for 2009. Billy Lit, what do you think? I, I, and for once, Billy Lit don't know what to say. I mean, how can you describe a maneuver like that? Was it a tower? That's a good question. <laughs> a tower of death? Was that what it was? A tower of death. The, the tower? leading tower of death. I don't know. Well, Billy Lit, I was with DJ Phillips in the ropes now. And oh, oh my God, God, that was a shining wizard. Scotty McKeever trained him and taught him the Shining Wizard, and right there it was. That was pretty much. That should be it. That's the end all be all. But no, Diablo says no. Yes. It's time for him to win the match. Diablo Jr. Diablo Jr. Yeah. Definitely Going got the now. advantage. Going to the top rope. Another high flying maneuver. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Little motor. Match of the year, Cam. Oh! Flip one, oh. Two. Wow! Yeah. Oh man, I can't believe it. Oh, hey, that match deserved a stand yes, up. Yes. These guys right here. That was definitely amazing. Right on. Only right here at NWA Mount St. Gentlemen, Wrestling. I gotta tell you, very short match. Could have went for a whole hour, and I wouldn't have been sad at all. Great action. Sportsmanship right there. Diablo got the victory with a big sunset flip. One, two, three, over Muda. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Muda went after Diablo Jr. with the miss. The miss! Diablo Jr. moved out of the way and looked like he had some type of contraption in his mouth. What was Muda thinking? The poison of Little Moda. Muda, Muda sent the message. DJ Phillips in trouble. DJ Phillips in trouble. We need some help. Come on, man. What was that substance that he spit out onto TJ Phillips? It's what? poison. Gosh. I don't know. I, 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 it's something indescribable. I haven't seen it since the days of the great Hey, 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 hey. Fast throw. That was the worst throw ever, Jacques Moulier. There was a man with eyes burning. What was that? Little Muda. What was that? What was that, Muda? What was it in his eyes? You're a lost words, Billy. I'm not a lost words. I don't know what to say right now. I, th I was really, I really thought Muda had potential, but what was he doing? He did. Look at his face, fans. This it's is why you in high definition. It's poison, acid. The skin is burning. Unbelievable. Hey, Joe. We've been watching some DVDs. I got a whole list of names right here. People have giving me phone calls, text messages, email, I've gotten snail mail, got DVDs in the mail, I mean there's a ton of people. And I got a guy right here that's coming in in just a few minutes and just wait, I want you to be surprised when he steps through the door. So he should be here just any time. Come on in, Larry Light, there he is, that's the man right there. How you doing? Alright, good to All see right. you, good to see you. Joe, I know you. Come on, Joe, you remember me. Think of a kid about nine, ten years old. Could work a match at ten years old. 
as good as anybody? Brian Evans. That's the man right That's there. Right. Good to see you, Joe. How you been, Brian? Doing good, man. How about you? All right. This is like family. Joe was there when we were training. Your dad. Remember all the times we went up and down the road as heavy, I tell you, man, he's your dad as a heavyweight champion, tag team champion, up and down the road. We was always in the back seat of the SUV. That's right, that's talking right. Talking about wrestling, talking about matches. Did you get a chance to check out my contract? Uh, actually? Got it. Well, you email me and then you fax me the copy of that. I took it over to our legal office. They're looking it over. Right now it's a no compete contract for 90 days. If you step into our ring, they can sue us. They can sue you. Come on, Larry. You can work your magic, though, right? Uh, I'll, I, you no, can get me out the, of it, right? The man can talk, and I will do anything and everything to get you in the ring. Okay. But as of right now, you can't compete for 90 days. And I know you're hyped up. Oh, yeah. You're excited I'm about ready. it. You're ready to go. I mean, this this kid here, six foot two, 20 years old. Look at kind of fabulous shape, and he looks great in the ring. So. Ryan Edmonds, I'll do the same thing for you like I did for your dad. I'll take you to a title. I'll help you out any way I can. I'm a commissioner, but you know, I may be able to slip in there as a manager one of these days just to be with you. So, you know, what do you say? Can you can you wait the 90 days? I want you to work your magic, but we'll uh, see what happens. Joe, as soon as we finish this conversation, I want you to go check with the legal office and see what they've come up with. And hopefully in a week or so, I'll have an answer for you as to what we can do. How's that? That's great. That's Man, great, Larry. Good to see you. It's good seeing you, Ryan. And you tell your dad and everybody, hello for us. Will do. And hope to see him at the matches, but definitely see you in the ring. And that's going to be soon. That's great. That's the best we can do. That's what I want. All right, brother. All right, take your Good to see you. Joe. Speaking of your dad, how's he doing? <laughs> no, dad. He's born mad. <laughs> yeah. Nothing's changed. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing's changed. Good to see you guys. Uh, Good seeing you. Glad you stopped by. Welcome back to NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Making his way to one half of Cruise Control, Sean Cruz. Wrestling. This new belt is the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Belt. That's right. Last week, Sean Cruz lost the loser weight title. Yes, yes. So we have a new loser weight champion, Sean Cruz. As of last week on our TV show, Sean Cruz. Uh, the title, but Carl won the match to lose the title. So technically, did he win the title? Lose the title? Carl lost the title, which is a good thing. for the loser weight champion, Sean and Cruz. And the opponent, weighing bigger than a bird box and less than a cinder block from the special school, Carl! Yeah. change your referee. All right, everybody. Welcome back to NWA Mountain State Wrestling. I'm Jacques Moliere, here with Big Willie Blackheart and Jonathan Styles. This match is to qualify for the new NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight title. This is a tournament right here, everybody. To the people 
that don't know about the new NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight title, it's a tournament going on right now. Whoever wins this match qualifies to become the NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion. Absolutely, and now the loserweight champion, Sean Cruz, in complete control, got in Carl in that arm bar. Oh, I'm over. Beautiful move by Carl. The sicko laughing, the psychotic, schizophrenic. Carl's getting the best of the loser. The delusional. Now Sean Cruz is trying to match up the blitz with Carl, but it doesn't look like that's really going to happen. Straight out of the mental institution, no, no, Carl no, 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 in the no, 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 ring. The correct term now is special school. I, 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 was, I was informed by Bob Trovich himself that I can't call it that. Okay. Straight out of the special school. Special school. AKA crazy. Alright, now it looks like Sean Cruz is in control. Now my wondering is, are we gonna see high flying action from these junior heavyweights? Because I'm not used to seeing much map wrestling from junior heavyweights out there. Well, I've seen Sean Cruz in action before, and I've also seen Carl in action. Carl is a, a, a person that takes a beat down and comes back strong and amazingly wins his matches. Sean Cruz, one half of Cruise Control, I see him, he's fast, he's quick, he's got strength, he's got power. He plays things off really smoothly and well. But it seems like Carl is outstrengthening Sean Cruz right now. You said you seen Carl in action. What was he doing, coloring in a coloring book? He no, was he... taking a beat down, that's what he was doing, and winning the match after his beat down. I think Carl gets his energy and his momentum from beatdowns. It looks like Sean Cruz going to work now on the legs of Carl. Just taking apart, taking him apart. There. You take the legs away from these young gentlemen, they don't have that speed no more. They're grounded. Absolutely, absolutely. Sean Cruz knows it, which is why he's taking complete control there and keeping Carl down on the mat. Sean Cruz is bringing the match to his pace. He's a mad wrestler, so he's bringing him down. He's making, he's keeping it at his pace. Sean Cruz going for oh, oh. It's like a modified suplex there. Beautiful suplex. That's how you do it. If you want to hurt somebody, that's the kind of suplex. Sean Cruz hurt himself with that suplex right there. Sometimes you got to take one to give one. They got that little manager, the Ducky, out there. Ducky's talking to him. He's always doing a squeak in the movie, but they say he's talking to him. You know, I thought you understood, Doc. No. If there's, no. One, if there's one thing I can say, gentlemen, is that, you know, sometimes you have to take a shot to give a shot. Now, here's the thing I don't understand. Sean Cruz is being introduced to the whopping 350 pounds. I was a 350 pound gentleman in line for the junior heavyweight title. Well, maybe it's. Does that mean I still got a chance? About as much chance as I have getting Leonard Sims to lend me the corporate check. <laughs> he might make you a paper airplane. Maybe. Now, let's go back to calling the written in action there. Sean Cruz just going to work on Carl, still has him down there. Ladies and gentlemen, you can see the bandage on Sean Cruz's left arm. You know, did his actual daytime job. He's a police officer from up Virginia, and he was injured in a line of duty trying to make an arrest. Well, Willie, why don't you tell him a little bit more about what happened with that arrest and what our men take up. Oh, wow! Sorry to interrupt, guys, but that was a vicious, heavy clothesline by Sean Cruz, one half of cruise control. If, Cru if Sean Cruz continues to do moves like that, he will be the next qualifying individual for the NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight title. Sean Cruz attempted to make an arrest in, uh, back in Murdoch, Virginia. Uh, in, the, in the chance of arresting the perpetrator, uh, he was lacerated in that arrest. But he's willing to tape it up to get it here. Oh! Junior Heavyweight Tournament, and now he's wrestling Carl. He get the best of Carl, to be honest with you. Absolutely. Carl, now, oh, with the boots. I think Double he's going to go up for the Psycho this. Crusher. Yes, here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Psycho Crusher! That's it. It's over. He got it. Still remaining the loser weight champion, Sean Cruz.
Yes, yes, Carl is advancing and qualified to be the new Sean Cruz. NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion. Good job, Carl. Carl advances in the tournament. This is Commissioner Larry Light. If you'd like to see the great TV stars of NWA Mountain State Wrestling come to your town, give us a call at area code 304-673-2054 or check us out on the web at mountainstatewrestling.com. Making his way to the ring, a newcomer here at NWA Mountain State Wrestling, but is known throughout the state of West Virginia and the world, nationally known Red Dragon. Going for that gold. We have Red Dragon versus J.C. Dykes Jr. in the ring. Here we go. Get this match started right away immediately. Right here, right now. Colin Elbow locked up. He walks him into the turnbuckle. Oh. Referee asked for a break. We got a clean break. It's no sportsmanship, our brother. Definitely. I got to tell you, it's being, I'm going to be very surprised to see, I see any sportsmanship out of the Red Dragon. My research has been said that he is a dirty player of the game. Hey, win at any tactics if you can, brother. Win at any tactics. If that championship pays money, you know. Yeah, but how well can you sleep at night knowing you didn't give your best? I sleep on my left side. Beautiful move. Wow, that was amazing right there. That is the athleticisms of these guys right here. They're still in a knuckle lock. Just the strength. Kick it away. It's that Red Dragon Karate. All the respects from the Red Dragon. Honor and respect. You know, last week you was talking about, you, you talk a little Japanese. What's a red dragon talking to the referee? What'd he say? What'd he say? What'd he say? He's uh, talking uh, yin yang. That's what he's talking. Yin yang? Yin yang. You know the yin and the yang? Well, right now, I'm still surprised. To oh! The oldest trick in the book. Take the shortcut. Take the shortcut. Get you there. It is the gas prices. Oh, you gotta take the shortcut. Well, I, I'll agree with you. I love taking shortcuts, but not in the ring. Never, ever in the ring. There we go. by the Red Dragon. Thank you guys, Junior, coming off. Back to those. Back. Oh. Back in. Huge back elbow. Set time. One, two. It's over. I thought he had him for sure. And Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker by the Red Dragon. Looks like Red Dragon is making a name for himself here at NWA Mountain State Wrestling. 
He said, I'm getting ready to kill this guy. Uh oh, he's going for the dyke spike. This is it. Oh, ouch. It's over. in his own Japanese flag. Oh, man. He Pearl Harbored him. He Pearl Harbored him, brother. Now that's how you do it. And that's how it's done. The winner of the match, J.C. Dykes Jr. or Fair Square, qualifying for the title for the, for the match for the NWA Mountain State in Junior Heavyweight Champion. Don't go anywhere. I'm Jacques Berlin. Here with Big Willie Blackheart and Jonathan Styles. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. Welcome back to NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Making his way to the leg, Bruiser Graham. Sergeant Long. Where's the grand up to his name right now? Sergeant Long's making his way back. He's fighting his way back. There we go. Oh! What a hard clothesline. Sergeant Long took him off his feet. Sergeant Long just got dropped by his rank. He went from a sergeant to a corporal right there after that. <laughs> sergeant Long looking not out there right now. Bruiser Graham is completely tall this battle. He's got huge upper body strength. And he has. Going to pick him up for the suplex. And. Look at the strength of Bruiser Look Graham. Just him there. That just blood flowing. Big. Looks like a big strawberry. Oh, there we go. That's dangerous right there. Oh, man. Let me tell you the secret to that suplex there. Hold the man up. You check that he's breathing. But when he goes in, when he comes out, when he takes in that big golf of air, you take him down, brother. Just like a basketball, which full of air, you're going to bounce. That was beautiful suplex right there. The strength of Bruiser Graham. No problem at all. Piece of cake. Bruiser <laughs> Graham went to the now. Sergeant Long off the ropes. He ducks. That's another one. Cross body. And just like that. He gets out of it. Sergeant Long is back to his sergeant status right now. Whipping and putting a hurt on Bruiser Graham. He's off the ropes. Sleeper. Tap it out. 
Guza Grab tap it out. Oh! No, Guza Graham counted. That was a nice counter by Bruiser Graham, definitely. Well, nothing from nothing, but Bruiser Graham is a veteran of the squared circle, and he knows where to go, right, Willie? Yes, he's a veteran. He's been all over the, uh, basically all over the United States. Wow. Heavyweight championships, and he's looking for the Mountain State Heavyweight Championship, but now he's got his hands for Sergeant Paul. What a hard shot but, by Bruiser Graham. And he looks to be in complete control of this matchup here. Unfortunately, being a little bit cocky, he should be working on putting Sergeant along the way if he wants that victory. Oh! He's been in the midsection. Sergeant Long making his second win. He's about to make a right comeback. Bruiser Graham into the corner. It's hard about the Sergeant Long! With the nice attack. Huge splash there. The reverse. Oh! Up and over. Skills again. Oh, kick to the gut. Was it Graham going for the finishing move? Yes, Bruce Graham. Oh, ouch. That's it. This match is over. Two, three. Oh. You know, right there, I have to say that is one of the worst finishing moves I have ever seen here at NWA Mountain State Festival. Very devastating. Yes, yes. I'm Jacques Moulier, all with Big Wayne Blackheart and Jonathan Styles. We got plenty of more awesome action coming up here. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Making his way to Making a name for himself here at NWA Mountain State Wrestling. Qualifying for the next NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion. TJ Phillips. Once again, welcome back, everybody. Another new cover here at the New York Mountain State Wrestling. Bradshaw. Talking about this is what we need. Now with the junior heavyweights, they're fast, they're quick, and they can get the job done, brother. Go, the break. Just like that, it was almost over. Oh! TJ goes out the crowd. TJ went out the crowd. No, he's not. Oh, I thought we were going to see him come out of that ring. Wow! These men are going at it. Just That was something right there, man. That's what. That's what. Uh, that's why we have the. Junior heavyweight division, John. That's right, that's right. For, for stunts like this, for people like this. Shot, this division's leaving you speechless, pal. It sure is. I don't know what to say right now, Big Willie. Well, I'm definitely excited that we have the division. I love the Fast and Furious action. TJ Phillips looking around. Oh! Land Shark 
reverses. Beautiful. Drop down. DJ up. And oh my, look how fast they're moving around in there. I can't even keep a leap. No leap frog. Oh. And shark goes down. Well, that's what we're talking about here in Mount State. These junior heavyweights, it's a lighter weight class. They're much faster, they're much agile, and you're going to see them. Oh! Mercy! Wow. Like a pump handle under the head slammed to me. That look. Now, TJ Phillips going to that high rep district. You see a lot of that with the junior heavyweights. High five! Oh, it's over. One, two. No! Land shark, he kicks I out. I knew he was. I thought TJ Phillips was going to put him away right there. I, I thought it was over, man. Land shark is definitely doing a great job out here, suffering. Perfect sensation, he puts the brakes on. TJ's up and over. Land shark goes out. They're both going up. What are they doing, Willie? I've never seen anything like this before. Well, this is what we call high risk, brother. They went up top. Oh, oh. they landed. Oh, hey, t as a surfer, they wiped out, brother. They Man. wiped out. Definitely, Willie. That's one time I got a good here. Both going for that high risk maneuver, figuring out how to pull it off. And nothing came of it. So we got two men out there on the hard look floor. These lighter weight athletes, they like to take high risk. They like to fly. And it just ricocheted on them. It did not work. So now they're trying to get back in the ring. There we go. Going for something. Oh! oh that was beautiful right there. Off the ropes, drop kick from the top. This is what Junior Henry oh. That's why we're starting this division in Mountain State Wrestling. That is beautiful right there, man. Fans, I can guarantee 100% we will not oh, that's it. in this division. It's over. I'll go to bat, brother. No! Kicked out, kicked out. Now, this is a big match because it qualifies them. The winner of the match is in the title match. And will it to the Did face. That's it. It's over. Going for the Indian finishing submission. Indian death lock. Front face Indian death lock. What's he gonna do? Can he get out? Land Shark is struggling. Can he make it for the rope? Can he reach the rope? Can he break the submission? That's it. Ring the bell. It's over. We've got a submission here. What? Yes. TJ Phillips. Oh, brothers, we seen it all. We seen high flying. We seen the ground submission. That's what junior heavyweights are all about. And now, whoa, oh, he just laid him out with his surfboard. Wow. Well, everybody, there you have it. TJ Phillips qualifies for the next NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight title match. Fellas, fellas, you think I can be a junior heavyweight? Well, I can uh, do it. I lose five pounds. I can make the weight limit. I can make the weight limit. I can do it. You stand as much chance of winning the weight limit as I do of getting a title match against Stroke. Well, everybody, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to NWA Mountain State Wrestling. I'm Jacques Moliere, making his way to the ring, TJ Phillips. J.C. Dykes Jr. Now, for everybody's knowledge out there, Paul was the former loser-weight champion, but he's seen the new NWA Mountain State Wrestling Junior Heavyweight title, and he liked it. He said it was shiny, and he did whatever he can to lose the loser weight champion. This three-minute match is scheduled for one fall with a 15-minute time limit. And it is for the NWA Mountain State Wrestling Junior Heavyweight Championship. First, from Fairmont, West Virginia, weighing 193 and three-quarter pounds, T.J. Fillon. And from Louisville, West Virginia, weighs 305 pounds, J.C. Dykes Jr. And the last participant of the match, weighing less than a brick box and more than a cinder block, from the special school, Kyle! By change of victory. All right, everybody. Who let this crazy out of special school? Well, I don't know who did that, but, you know, this is for the NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight title. Who's it going to be? J.C. Dykes Jr., T.J. Phillips, Carl. Carl. This ain't a tag match. Carl is a little confused right now. He is. He's reaching in for a tag. This is not a tag match. They slingshot shot him in. Oh. Some stiff kicks in the line. Wait a second here. Didn't JC Dykes Jr. and Carl used to be uh, uh, tag, tag team partners? I think they still are, but when it comes to singles gold, everybody wants singles gold. That's why the bandit, even though he's going out for the bunkhouse boys, wanted the TV title. Is that not Oh! What a Absolutely mean kick correct. to the face! Oh no. Cover. No, that ain't that easy here. Got another cover! They want that gold. They want that belt. It's all about that junior heavyweight title. Oh, the big shoving match by four, four. TJ Phillips now going to work on Jesse Dykes Jr. as Carl is at the bottom of the match, just sitting there taking a break. Very wise move by Carl in a three-way match like this. JC Dykes Jr. off the ropes. Nice clothesline by TJ Phillips. Uh, all three of these participants can tell there you that NWA Matt State Junior Heavyweight title is within their grasp. Absolutely, Carl using a very smart move to pull off TJ Phillips. I thought he was going to get the cover there right before TJ Phillips. Oh! Carl. You can't do that, TJ Phillips. Punching Carl in the face like that, that's a closed fist. When they're closed fists, they're legal professional wrestling. The referee needs to open his eyes up. Sets him up, he's up a suplex. Oh! Oh, suplex. Ouch. That was a modified suplex. Oh, wait a minute, that's a family show. What is TJ Phillips thinking? When you have this arrogant cover like that, you're not going to win the Junior Heavyweight Championship. That's just funny right there. TJ Phillips had to expect J.C. Dykes Jr. attack. Now, TJ Phillips trying to go for some sort of leg lock there. Trying to get lock. And in the death lock, getting him to Carl to submit. 
Where you gotta wonder why Tracy Dice Jr. is not breaking it up. Wait a minute, here he comes. Oh, kick to the back of TJ Phillips. See, what JC Dice Jr., what he's doing, he's wearing out Carl. Let TJ Phillips do all the work. Oh, oh, he's going for the Going for the finishing. No! TJ, big hands, puts him in the corner. Sorry to cut you off there, guy, John. I thought we were going to see the guy spike. Well, for a second there, I thought we had a new NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion. Chase has more credentials. You know he was a rookie of the year. You know he was a manager of the year. Now he wants to be the NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion. Well, you know how it is. You got to do what you got to do. If you want to be the champion, if you want the gold, you got to give it everything you got. And look, and that's what Carl's doing right now. Backbreaker, J.C. Dykes Jr. in pain, new champion. If you think this is extreme, I see the three-way match between Carl, J.C. and their mother. Oh, God, nobody wants to think about Carl, J.C. and their mother. Really? Oh! We're very close to crying our first ever junior heavyweight champion here, folks. Off the ropes. Wait. Looks like he's going to pump for DDT. Wait a minute. What is this? Russian leg swing. Oh! That was just nice. Red car rolls over. That's going to be it. New champion. Oh, kick out. TJ Phillips kicked out, too, you know? It's that, mo it's that uh, instinct right there. They roll. Ooh, ouch. Absolutely. And now Carl on the reverse. Yeah, on the reverse end of the camel clutch, as I was going to say, really. Hey, you say it fast enough. Kick well, to I the back of the head. Be at a certain speed. Oh, here we go. Dyke Spike. It's over. Oh. You turn your heavyweight champion. Wait, Carl. Hey. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Carl got the cover. The winner of the match. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion, Carl. Beautiful. Congratulations, Carl. You are officially the new NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion. You are formerly the Loserweight Champion. And now you are the NWA Mountain State Junior Heavyweight Champion. Tell everybody how you feel. I want to go to the Hunter Grand Show. I've been coming here ever since we started running you. That right there has been my dream for weeks. But you know what? You did in that situation what I was in. Get me this going. Turn around. I'm just so glad to take the loser.